Okay. Hi, Incendia here. Uh, this project is called The Cartographers. It is a vision of the future. Um, it presents a critique of the present day because it's sort of political in its point. Um, it's about, an, there's a narrator under it who is sort of this creepy kind of extraterrestrial, perhaps extraterrestrial char character who's narrating the movie. He's sort of a mad prophet because he foresees a lot of the things that happen in the movie. Uh, he is a stranger that comes to town because he is completely strange to this world. He's not doesn't belong there. Uh, but he does stand in another man's shoes because he kind of talks about the people that did used to be there and kind of empathizes with them. He's the last of their kind. Um, well, he's not the last of their kind, but he meets the last of their kind as far as the people that once inhabited this planet. Um, it is a chronicle. It tells a story about kind of how this came to be. This planet came to be only inhabited by fences and walls. Um, it involves a discovery um, because he actually discovers that he's looking, he's searching, he's passing all these fences, and he discovers at one point a hole in the fence, and that gives him hope. Um, it is about nuclear war because that's what is assumed what ravaged the planet in the first place. It's about the collapse of civilization because there's no civilization really left, and that's what's there. It's about a fall from grace because it's about humanity's fall from grace. But it's a rise and fall because there's because we got so high before we fell. Um, it's a, regards history because it's a, about this guy looking back upon the history of this world and kind of commenting on it. Um, there are polar opposites because the main kind of odd part as visually in the film is the polar opposites are the way it's like barren landscape and, and then there's just these jutting fences and walls and it's just kind of funny because they're in the middle of nature and then you just have these opposites. Um, the suburbs are involved uh, because at one point we actually have videos of the suburbs going by. Uh, it's like abandoned suburbs. Uh, it's an everyman. This guy character sort of empathizes with ed, ev like with everybody on an everyman sort of way. Uh, it involves memory because it's the memory of what happened here, who who did it, who like how did it come to be this way. Um, it involves diligence because the main character is very diligent in his pursuit of these fences and following these fences till he finds some sort of sign. Um, it's about pride because pride humanity's pride led them to this point. It's about a lost one because the main the main character is this extraterrestrial sort of lost, so he's wandering around this world. Um, it's a gl it's about a glance because at the end of the, the story he kind of glances over and he sees this this hole in the fence. It involves a sign that's the sign he was looking for. It involves the muse because the muse is kind of this. He kind of talks about like in a way what in inspires him to do this and his own muse in a way. Um, it involves Hesitance, because he hesitates at one point at the fences, believing it's like it's all going to he's going to give up. Um, it is something completely different because it's just totally weird and odd and unlike anything else you've ever done using Google Maps and narration combined. Um, it is indivisible because we collaborated with somebody from three different parts of SCA and somebody from outside it, um, from an Israeli film school, which also involves outside in. Um, and finally, someone from San, San Francisco helped make the video. So that is it. Click it. <laughs>